Hi everyone, my name is Mark. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. All around the world in the different secret societies, new organizations, you can put names, names to them if you will, Illuminati, Freemasons, or even the Rosicrucians, Nazis, all these different organizations. They hide a lot of their idolic imagery and symbolism right in plain sight in the music industry, the commercials, television shows, movies, billboards, and even way back in time in their old artistry. The whole world is set up as a matrix. God is in control, the devil is battling him, and there's a fight over the different souls. This here is a fresco that has come out and some people have said they have seen the devil right here. This was um, painted by a man named Giotto, or Giotto, I believe. This is his name right here. And he painted these, a lot of them, this one we're looking at now, is of Saint Francis of Assisi, which happens to be what our new pope is named after, and his patron saint. The new pope's name is Francis, and he takes his name from Saint Francis of Assisi, right here. Now in here, they have gone and shown that up in the clouds, you can see this face here. See this right here? The nose, the eye, the mouth, a little bit of the hair to the sides. You can see the hair on the sides and a little tuft of hair at the top. All right here. They've shown this character around a lot. And they show him in the Catholic Church a lot. He is right here as the body of St. Francis is being ascended. This is supposed to be St. Francis's body being carried up right beside the devil exactly beside him. This is all showing near what's coming near the end of the age and what we're approaching now. The time of the great deception coming. The time of the mark of the beast and the new world order. This is a famous painting in the Denver International Airport and it shows they have the Jesuits helping them prepare everything for the Antichrist right here. Whoever you want to apply this to. But this is showing the rise of the New World Order and the Jesuits, just as the new Pope is a Jesuit named Francis, and they're all preparing for the Antichrist and the New World Order. This is a mural at the Los Angeles Library about the Catholic Church. It's showing that guy right here with the hair out to the sides, and he's as a monk or a friar. The V on his back represents we are heading towards the Fifth Age the age of the mark of the beast and the new world order and they're preparing these things right here this is actually supposed to be a big event this is represent, representing the San Onofre power plant and the devil and the Catholic Church all preparing for that day uh, the Catholic Church is in the Bible the Catholic Church is known as the Church of Thyatira they are saved but in the Bible it says that they are all going to go to the time of the testing. They are all going to face the mark of the beast. All 1.2 billion Catholics, if there is a rapture, not a single one of them will go. That is what is talked of in the Bible, the Church of Thyatira. This is the Church of Thyatira. This is the devil trying to get all of the Catholics to have to stay to go through the mark of the beast and the time of the testing. If you Google Mayan calendar, you will actually get this on Wikipedia and such. This is a Mayan thing, and it's actually showing a machine for the mark of the beast. The head of the person goes in here. They put this snake thing. See the V right here for the fifth age? They put this snake thing in here with the hand. It's putting in the snake. It goes into the person. That's getting the mark of the beast. And here is that guy they showed on that painting right there for all to see. They have some Illuminati cards called Bob 13013 and this is the picture of the guy they show too. It's the devil. 13013 when you slide the three up against the ones it's called Bob 
that's what they call him a lot, band of brothers. There he is. Right there, the devil. In the Catholic Church, on the Catholic paintings, right beside St. Francis of Assisi, right here, the devil and St. Francis of Assisi, both of them. And St. Francis was about animals. He loved the animals and he wanted everybody to be poor. This was a rich man who gave all his money away and any time you went to see him, he told you you needed to suffer and you needed to go beg. The Catholic Church is not going to help you. They believe in suffering. We're going to go show, show something over right where St. Francis is, where that fresco is painted in his big church. But right now, this is London. This is Buckingham Palace. They do this all over the earth. Meant to be seen from above. It has a lot to do with like the Nazca lines, being able to see it all from above. This V represents the fifth age coming and the high age, a star system. This is even called the serpentine, which is a way to get through the Milky Way. This is the little horn of the Bible coming, the new world order, with nuclear war and the devil descending with the capstone to the new world order, all right here at Buckingham Palace. We're going to go over there and look at St. Francis's church, where that glue, that um, they painted that mural that shows St. Francis being with the devil. This right here is where the fresco was, Basilica of San Francisco de Assisi. It is right here. See, this is the town right here. We're going to show that they actually have all of this mapped out perfectly as the end of the age. Just as we had shown over there near London, and I've shown around the world in many places. We're going to show the leopard of the Bible, which would be Obama, who has to be the man of perdition and he will betray America. We will show the leopard, and then we will show the Catholic Church with the devil falling and the Catholic Church or the Orthodox Church, because they show there will be, Russia will be involved with a lot of this too, and Russia is 95% Orthodox Church now. And we will show all of them doing the Mark of the Beast. Right here, right in front of us, right by St. Francis's Church, where that fresco was painted. Now I can the Lord came upon me a long time ago, and believe it or not, I can see things. I can decipher things with seemingly with ease. It just comes clearly to me. I spent a long time studying that. Normally I just put my papers up here to show everybody. I'll try to draw some right here for us. Let me get this down here. I want to draw on my screen. There's a man standing right here, and they wear this hat like this a lot. You can follow the road. I guess that's not going to be as easy as I thought. Maybe I can do it like this. I set the tray down in my lap, and I use a smaller pen, but this one can be seen. Starting to see him now. This man right there, that beard on, he has a mask beside him too. Kind of looks like a lion mask. I think this is going to be whoever inhabits Prince William. And it doesn't stop there. Let's see if I can get this done now. We can see him. Here's the basilica right there. wearing a little bobby hat 
because he's going to be made into like Bob. The band of brothers will make all of these people into them. He's getting that RFID chip right there. It's even making him bleed. And they're doing something to his right eye right there. If you can see that. So there we go. That's what we just drew. Sorry, we're going to do this anyways to have some fun with it. Just like that. There's more. A lot more. Let's see what we can draw out of this. You see this guy up here? Seen him yet? I just drew on my screen, I think. See him? With the bobby hat coming down? It's the devil coming down. You see this guy right here? That's a terrible drawing. He has one eye. His right eye is darkened. And he's taking this thing and cutting out that right eye. And right here is the leopard of the Bible. Right there, which would be Obama. And he's pulling on this cord which is where he's going to do the next 911. So you have all of that right there that we just traced. Right off of there. This. Just like this. The devil with his bobby hat coming down into this pope or cardinal. They're putting the RFID chip in. They're taking out the right eye. The right eye has a doorway to to heaven is what they keep showing <clears throat> and he's making them all into his band of brothers <clears throat> here is this guy that is wearing the little lion mask you can apply scripture to who you are false prophets antichrist man of perdition and then this guy is pulling this cord which is obama or the leopard the man of perdition that will do betray the world He's going to do some type of 911 event that's going to, you know, start World War III and begin the Great Tribulation. All of that right there. Very hard to see, but we just did it all. We sat there and we drew that whole thing, all of us together. There we go. All 1.2 billion Catholics. They're all going to go face this. Isn't this amazing? It's just terrible. The Mary worship and the beads and the Pope and the saints all break the... You know, you can still be saved and stuff, but you're not considered to be worthy to miss the time of the testing. These are all considered the foolish virgins, is what they consider them as. Because they pray to Mary for help. They go to Popes for confessions. They count beads. They believe in the Eucharist can save them. Instead of just standing out there and calling up and going, Jesus Christ, I'm, I believe in you. I'm the son of God. Save me. When I die, I'm ready to go to heaven. <clears throat> when I die, I'm going to stand up in the courts of heaven and say, I believed in you. I didn't look for Mary. I didn't look for a pope. I didn't look for a saint. I, you took all my sins away, and I trusted you. Jesus, what do you have to say? you are my defender in heaven for your glory you will save me thank you my lord and god jesus christ that's what you need to do not believe in mary or anything else all of that right there we just traced well let's go see what this guy is pulling it's just like in that picture that I keep showing. The Santa No Free Power Plant. Oh no, he's free. This is what I see right over here. They show two breasts all the time, which represents the Santa No Free Power Plant. Right at the 33 degree parallel down in San Diego, which in Jeremiah 50, it talks of the earth being moved. Something happening down there to start the Great Tribulation and the earth being moved. Was to cause 
tidal waves around the world practically all of that right there not easy to see not supposed to be but all of it's right there just traced we all traced it together but there is a Catholic guy putting the mark of the beast and the RFID chip on him there's the San Onofre power plant there's the leopard when the devil falls he blows that trigger We have all of that right there on there. This is a famous hieroglyph of Akhenaten and Nefertiti. I think that stuff wipes right off. <clears throat> in the magics of Thoth, it's talked about a lot, and they turn things over <clears throat> to hide the imagery. It doesn't affect their idolic magic, if you will, of all that. But this shows all of this right here. This shows a Prince William type character and this guy going down inside of him. This was that other guy we saw when this lock is opened. Here's the devil with the bobby hat or the little fedora hat coming down. The harp for the harp machine and the great earthquakes. And the coat of arms for Prince William. And Obama revealing himself with a mask as the man of perdition which matches scripture. In the Bible it says, when the man of perdition reveals himself, we can be caught away in the rapture, if you will. Apply scripture as you see it. You know, I just go by scripture. I'm not into arguing the rapture if it is or if it isn't. There you go. Just don't take the mark of the beast. It's all that matters. Down here in this writing, I can decrypt all this stuff too. This shows that it has a lot to do with the dog star Sirius and our right eye is actually an ability for the soul to be in and out. This shows it all right here matching exactly what we just saw. The dog for the dog star. This little alien thing here is representing the right eye. That's what's going to have to come out of us. That's why they can go and mess with everybody. They can go in and out through all of these things. The Antichrist will have his right eye darkened. See the dog and the right eye? That's the way out for our soul. There's that guy coming down, the clown guy with the bobby hat, the little fedora hat. And there's the little Catholic priest doing that little chainsaw looking thing to a man and putting these visors on them, which is going to be part of the mark of the beast. Here, here he is when he's finished. They will have a visor on and they will have a mark of the beast. See it on his forehead? Right there. All perfect. All of that right there, just traced. Oops, sorry. Wrong one. Here we go. That same clown we saw on the Mayan calendar, the Mayan tablet. Over there. And there's that guy putting that thing in there. There's the mark of the beast. It's all real. So nobody's saying the Catholics can't be saved. The devil's trying to trick them all into staying for the time of the testing. They have a big deal about the lukewarm Christians. This is who the devil is after all the time. He wants the lukewarm Christians. There's a reason that Luke Skywalker was named Luke. You know, and if you'll notice, there's a lot of movies like that uh, where Luke is the guy that ends up taking everybody on. They want to take the lukewarm Christians. There's something special about them. Since they were meant for Jesus Christ, if they can trick them, they believe that they have some, they're special somehow. You know, the lukewarmness is their ability to catch them. So they're going to, I mean... They, we just showed that 1.2 billion Catholics are not going to go in any type of rapture. It's in the Church of Thyatira. That's just what it says. So if there is any deception, that's going to be 1.2 billion Catholics running around going, well, we didn't go, so there's no way possible. We are perfect Christians. We are perfect Christians. There's no way that we could not have gone. And there's only a small group of what you would call Protestants across the nation. 
think this one's it. There's only a small group of Protestants around the nation. If you looked it up and looked on your track, the Protestants around the world, you wouldn't have to take out very much for the Protestants to be gone. And then all the Catholics can go to the time of the testing. Look at that, it's all right there. San Onofre power plant. This is not going to be a little ordeal. This will cause tidal waves around the world when this blows. This is this will cause the California earthquake to fall off practically. And that will move the earth, causing tidal waves around the world. There we go right there. When he is cast down, and he goes right into there, the right eye darkened. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath raised him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, everybody. Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah.